to my youtube channel if you're new to my channel my name is on in today's video i'm going to show you how i created this makeup look for the eyes today i used the life's a drag palette again from luna beauty by many mua since my last video was very dramatic i wanted to do a more softer look as well which will be more easier to recreate if you recreate this makeup look of course you can wear to any occasion you feel like it's suitable for if you're going to prom or if you're going to work or if you even want to wear it to do only grocery just do it for me personally this is just a soft daily glam look but yeah let's dive into this video and i hope you enjoy now for my foundation of course i'm using my current favorite which is the nars radiant longwear foundation i'm using it in the shade stromboli first i used it in the shade barcelona but that one is a little bit too dark for now and this one i feel like matches my body perfectly now to apply this, I'm using my buffer brush from Real Techniques and I'm just buffing this all over my skin. And then when I feel like most product is on my face, I'm taking my damp beauty blender and I'm going to apply it with my beauty blender as well, but only to give it like a more natural finish. Because you know, sometimes I feel like a brush gives a bit of a weird texture on my skin. So that's why I'm using this to give it more of a natural texture. Now to conceal my face, I'm going to use my Tarte Cosmetics Shape Tape Concealer in the shade Light Medium. Using this underneath my eyes. A little bit on my forehead. And on my chin. And again taking my Beauty Blender to blend this in. So I'm really curious what you guys use to clean your beauty blender. I'm struggling with it. So if you have any tips like on what exact product, let me know. Because I find it so annoying. I really wish they would make like a machine that could clean your beauty blender. That would be like genius. I think everyone would get it. Now I'm going to quickly set my eyes using this MAC Soft Ochre Paint. So I'm going to quickly set my eyelid and um, I like to do this after applying concealer. So when I set my under eyes, I can also like set my um, eyelids. Now I'm taking my contour kit from Anastasia Beverly Hills and I'm using the shade um, Vanilla and Banana. Let me know if you guys think I need to get the Kat Von D light, what is it called? Shade and Light palette? I'm using this for years now, this palette from Anastasia and I'm really liking it. But so many people swear by the Kat Von D one, so just let me know if you think I need it. Because I would love to try out something different. I'm always using like a lot of products, um, the same products in my videos, just because I like them so much. But of course, if there's something better, I would love to try it. Now before I set my forehead area right here, I'm going to first contour. I'm going to use this Tarte Cosmetics Shape Tape Concealer in the shade Rich. Applying a few dots on my forehead and then blending it in with that beauty blender as well. And then I'm setting my forehead as well. So as you know, I have quite combination oily skin and I'm lately using this foundation just like I did right now. Um, but I do have oily skin and I feel like sometimes it doesn't really go well with this foundation. So I feel like I have to kind of bake my face in order to make it like a less oily during the day. So I'm going to use this powder from Makeup Forever, which is called the Super Matte Loose Powder. And I'm going to set that on my T-zone areas as well. I 
I am now going to do my eyebrows off camera. I have a separate video where I go very in depth on how I do my eyebrows. I will link it down in this video. And while I'm doing my eyebrows, I'll just let this sit on my face and then I'm starting with my eyes. For this video, I'm going to use the Luna Beauty Lives a Drag palette by Many MUA. And I'm going to start with this shade called Sickening. This is going to be my transition shade for my crease. So I'm going to blend this all over my crease going back and forth using the Sigma E40 brush uh, which is included in my Sigma Coloration brush kit. I will link it down in the description bar if you're curious. My eyeshadow primer did start creasing a little bit which I don't know why that happened. So hopefully that will not make a problem. Then for my next shade, I'm going to use this shade Mug using my Sigma E25 brush, which is included in my Sigma brush kit as well. And I'm going to softly press this right here in my outer V area until I find that there's like enough product. And then with whatever is left, I'm just going to blend this like, like this around the outer V area. Now I'm going to use a little bit of this Cake Face eyeshadow for underneath the eyebrows. And the brush that I'm using is the MAC 242, my favorite brush for applying eyeshadows on the eyelid. And also I really like to use this for whenever I apply an eyeshadow underneath the eyebrow. Then the next shade is called Beat and I'm going to use this to apply it all over the eyelid. When I saw many swatching this shade in his reveal video, I was shook. I think it looks so amazing. So I was really looking forward to use it for this video because I'm so curious how it looks on the eyelid. Then I'm taking a brush with no product on it and I'm just going around the edges. And I'm taking that Sigma E25 and press it a little bit on top of the out of the area to make sure that the shimmery shades on the eyelid blend into the matte ones. Now I'm going to apply a thin line of eyeliner right above the lash line using this NYX Matte Liquid Liner. Now I'm taking the shade Merc using a flat diviner brush from Sigma which is included in my brush kit as well. And I'm going to press this right underneath the lower lash line. And to blend that out, I'm using the shade Sickening, using a pencil brush from Morphe. Now to finish it all off, I'm going in with the shade Cake Face, using my Sigma E21 brush. And apply this in the inner corner area. Now for my model line, I'm going to use this Suifa Soft Gold Pencil in the shade Carnot. I was thinking about going for a nude pencil or a white pencil, I wasn't sure. But I feel like nude suits best with this eye look. Using my favorite mascara, which is the Tarte Cosmetics Light Camera Lashes. So if you recreate this eye look, you can leave it like this and only apply mascara. But I am going to apply some fake eyelashes and I'll be using the puffy lashes from my brand Annie Jude. Okay, so I just finished the eyes and I feel like it turned out way more cool tone than I was planning or expecting. Um, when Manny swatched this shade, I, f I feel like it looked really rose golden and now that I have applied it on the eyelid, it looks more of a cool tone, shimmer 
I don't know how to explain but it matches my background which is nice so I just think I have to deal with it um, I don't do a lot of cool tone looks very often so maybe this is only better so it doesn't look like all the warm tone looks I have already done I do have to say I always feel like cool tones doesn't really suit me but who knows maybe if I finish the rest of my makeup it will turn out really nice so I'm now going to first set my whole face using some powder. I'm using the Airbrush Flawless Finish Powder in Medium from Charlotte Tilbury. This is my current favorite powder. And I'm using this NYX brush which doesn't have a name. And I'm just going to apply it all over the face. So I just wanted to sit down today and do a sort of get ready with me and just do a soft look. I am going to the hospital later today uh, with my grandfather. He asked if I wanted to come with him, he needs to take some pictures, um, let his uh, blood test because he gets a pacemaker, I'm not sure if that's the correct English word. This weekend um, the ambulance took him to the hospital because he had like some problems with his heart. He has had this before, he had a few heart attacks so now just in case to be safe he's getting a pacemaker and and my grandmother isn't doing really well either, so he asked me if I wanted to come with him, so he doesn't want to go alone. So I just wanted to film a soft look, because I don't want to look like too dramatic if I go to the hospital, because I don't know, it just feels a little bit uncomfortable, I guess, because no one is busy with doing their makeup, obviously, in the hospital. So I just want to look a little bit natural and soft, and yeah, that's basically the reason. And also I haven't done a natural soft look in a while, so it was about time. So now to contour my cheekbones, I'm using this powder from The Balm Cosmetics called the Take Home The Bronze in the shade Oscar. And to apply this I'm using my Anastasia Beverly Hills A19 brush. And I'm only going to apply this on the cheekbones and a little bit underneath the jawline to contour. So I feel like in all my videos I'm using around the same products, like for example I'm using this one a lot, I use the NARS foundation all the time, the Tarte Cosmetics Shape Tape, and I kind of want to change things up even though if you like something why would you use a different product? But I want you guys to comment down below your favorite concealer, your favorite bronzer, your favorite blush, so I can buy it, um, review it on my channel, and put your comment right here so I can show you that I purchased it because of you and this way I can try new products so just let you let me know like what is your favorite product that you feel like I need to try and use in my videos also let me know if you want me to do review videos I know a lot of youtubers start doing a lot of reviews instead of makeup tutorials and of course I still want to do makeup tutorials but I know a lot of people want to know my opinion about certain products so maybe I can start include reviews as well and with reviews I just mean like that I sit down I open a product for the first time I apply it and just let you guys know my first impression and my and the opinion at the end of the video if that makes sense so just let me know if that's something you're interested in maybe I can try new products so now for my blush, I'm going to use this blush trio, which is called Pop of Blush or Blushing Babes. It shows two names, so I'm not really sure what the name is, but either one of them. I actually wanted to use this blush today, which is the MAC Peaches blush. Um, this is one of my all-time favorite blushes. I actually recently bought a new one because this plastic uh, keeps breaking. It happened to a few of my uh, blushes from MAC. Not sure if that happened to one of you as well. Super annoying because once this like breaks, um, it falls out and then you don't have something that covers it anymore and you can't really take it with you. So I decided to buy a new one because I really like it. But since this look turned out a bit more cool tone, I'm going to use this one. Now to glow up my skin I'm going in with this Anastasia Beverly Hills Amorese highlighter and to apply this I'm taking my Morphe R36 brush and I'm not going to apply too much highlighter because um, it's 
quite a cloudy day and when it's cloudy I feel like when I'm outside it looks really weird when I'm wearing too much highlighter it kind of looks ashy or something I don't know so on these type of days I just apply a tiny bit Now to line my lips, I'm taking this lip pencil from MAC Cosmetics in the shade Strip Down and I'm taking this to overdraw my lips. And now on top of that, I'm going in with this lip gloss from Dose of Colors which is called Can You Not? And then here you have the end result. I really hope you guys enjoyed this kind of get ready with me video. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you did enjoy. And of course, I hope to see you in my next video. Bye guys!